Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back back to my channel. My name is Frastix and I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be reacting to the From the Vault tracks from Taylor's version of her album 1989 and I'm so excited for these Vault tracks. You guys have no idea. 1989 has got to be within my top three of Taylor's discography ever. It used to be my number one for like the longest time. It was the first real Taylor Swift era that I actually was a part of from the beginning of the era until the end of the era. Like I just remember going to Target and getting the deluxe version of 1989 and I absolutely love it so much. I was so fascinated by all the photos and the Polaroids and everything and just the album in general. The aesthetic is something that I honestly think is one of the best aesthetics of all time for any era and I'm so glad that she continued on with the aesthetic for 1989 Taylor's version. Now we're getting five brand new songs from the vault and I could not be more excited to hear these songs. If you guys haven't seen any of my album reactions before I usually do these claim track things where I claim a few tracks from the album that I haven't heard that I think I'm gonna like and usually one of them ends up being one of my most favorite from the entire album but since this only has five new songs I decided that I'm only gonna choose one song from the From the Vault tracks to actually claim as my claim track. So my claim track for 1989 Taylor's version is Is It Over Now and I don't know I haven't heard the song again but I felt like I have a good connection I feel like I'm really gonna like the song of course I feel like I'm gonna like all of the From the Vault tracks and before I begin my reaction I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm gonna be reacting to the original track list separately in a different video so if you guys want to see my reaction to all of the original track list songs for 1989 the link for that will be in the description below but uh yeah I'm just gonna stop talking and start reacting so without further ado here's my reaction to the from the vault tracks from Taylor's version of her album 1989 Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. It just got released and I'm so excited to listen to the From the Vault track and the first From the Vault track, which I think is the lead single for the From the Vault tracks from 1989, is called Slut. And I'm just super excited just to get into this. I know it's going to be a banger, so let's just, here we go. And sorry if it's a little bit low because of like copyright reasons, but... Oh, this is a lot slower than I thought it was going to be. Shut up, Taylor. Oh, come through with the vocals. It's so chill. Oh, here. Oh. Oh. oh shut up. Oh. Taylor, come through with the sense. I love that. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a love song. I did not expect it to be a love song. Backing vocals. This part is still making me shook. This is the one that the lyrics she teased. Okay, come through with the production. Oh, slut. Aw. Okay, so it's just gonna fade out like that, but that was slut, and oh, that's not how, I thought it was gonna be like a more upbeat, like empowerment anthem of some sort, or like people like think, I thought it was gonna be like Blank Space 2.0, but it's like so much chiller, it's so much vibier, and it's a lot more romantic than I thought it was gonna be, because I think what I'm getting at is that, you know, like she, is with this guy and she doesn't care if they call her a slut or not with whatever she's doing because she's with him and that's all that really matters. And I think that's what I'm getting for it. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But bro, for some reason this, I feel like this is kind of like 1980, or not 1989, but like uh, Midnight's kind of related, but it's also like 1989, it's like a mix of those two, which I totally love and adore. I think there might be a music video for this later on, maybe, I hope so. That would be super cool because it's already being promoted as a single, so we'll see, but I love it so much. Okay, so the next track off of 1989 Taylor's version from the Vault Tracks is Say Don't Go, which I think this is supposed to be like an emotional song, mix of clean and um, this love from what the leaks were supposedly saying. So we'll see, it's 4.40, so 
I, it's pretty long, but I'm just, I love the emotional stuff. So hopefully this is a bit emotional, but here. Okay, I love the scent so far. Ooh, she's going low with her boy. Oh no. Oh no is right. Ooh, this is gonna be a power ballad of sorts. Oh, it's like the mirror, it's a mirror ball. Ooh. Oh, come through with the production. Oh, come the Jack. Jack. Oh my god. It's very 1989 coded. The melody kind of reminds me of Clean a little bit. Backing vocals, I can hear you in the back. I love that, like it like builds, 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 and then like it goes quiet for a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Oh! Yes! Come through with the screaming. Oh, come through when you won't. Yes! Oh my gosh. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like if this was on the original track list, this would probably be a track five, probably to replace all you had to do with stay. I don't know. I feel like it's getting track five vibes from me, but oh, that, that was a lot more upbeat than I thought it was going to be. I thought Slut was going to be more up pace and then it became like a slow bop. And now this one, I thought it was going to be like a slower emotional song. I mean, it is emotional, but it's a lot more powerful and like synth coded than I thought it was gonna be but in like the best way because I absolutely love it so much I mean it is kind of sad you know saying that you know she, or she wishes that the guy you know I'm assuming they broke up and there she wants the guy to make the first move and be like actually no I still love you that kind of stuff which I guess is kind of the theme of not only 1989 but if like you know the past albums as well but it definitely works well with this and like the production is so like electronic and in your face and Jack, I'm pretty sure, produces. He produced like all the songs, I think, on 1989 Tales version. So I absolutely love it so much. 440 doesn't even feel like 4 minutes and 40 seconds, but I, I just love that song. Next is Now That We Don't Talk, and it is only 2 minutes and almost 30 seconds. So we'll see what kind of themes are going on in this song. So we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, come through with more 80 cents and whatnot. I love how she's like starting low with these kind of tracks. Ooh, part of the crowd. Ooh. Never ever getting back together. She's gonna get in her feels with this song. Oh, come through with the track. Andrea, come through. Acid Rock. Mega Ya. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And this was written and um, produced by Jack and written by Taylor, obviously. That was a lot shorter. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I feel like this out of the three so far, this is not my favorite but I feel like it's definitely vibey and definitely fits the sound of 1989 which I really like how all of the songs so far really have that like again synth synth sound and like the the, the drums and just like the powerfulness if that makes sense I don't know I feel like the lyrics are very 1989 coded as well and then how she's talking to you know her mom and saying you know her mom's telling her that it was for the best again it's super short i thought it was going to be a lot longer not going to lie or like if, i hope it was going to feel a lot longer but it definitely does feel a lot shorter than it could have been so that's my only gripe about it i guess but still pretty good as well okay next is suburban legends which is just under three minutes so i'm really interested just to hear what this sounds like hopefully it's a little bit of a bop again as with the other three songs so this okay we're just starting straight on gosh she's going low with her vocals in this in these tracks come through oh this is very like starlight, new romantics coded, if that makes sense. 
Oh, I thought it was gonna build up, but I think it's gonna build up later in the song. Da 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 da. Oh, oh, that was another look she shared. Yes. Ooh, it has a little bit of a bejeweled vibe at the end. <laughs> nice. Yes, like I said, it, the, at the ending part just reminds me of Bejeweled a little bit, you know. Anyways, so that again, this is another short, I don't know why, like I feel like it's just too short. The past two songs especially, like ugh. But I do like the vibe of this. Again, like I said, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, Starlight mixed with New Romantics, mixed with like a few other songs as well, like at least the theme wise, you know. The sound wise, it's very tame. Tame. I thought it was always gonna build up, but it never actually builds up to the point where I want it. Maybe at the end it probably did build up to a good point, but I kind of wish it built up a little bit more. But it's definitely vibey. The lyrics are very 1989 coded with what what was it like waves crashed on the shore. I dashed to your door. That was very 1989 coded. But that leads us into the last song, which is my claim track, which I don't want it to end. Why is there only five tracks? Seriously, for the from the vault tracks. Like I feel like we're just getting less and less vault tracks. But you know, and I'm not complaining, but it is the last song, like I said, of the From the Vault Tracks, and it is called Is It Over Now? And it is again my claim track, so we'll see if I really like it or not, but just here we go. Oh why am I getting a little bit of like uh oh I'm falling in love vibes, you know? Is this gonna be like uh, what is that? What is that? Ooh. Huh? <laughs> oh. This is the first slur she shared. And the beat. Yes. Yes, I love this song. A tr oh. Made. Mmm. Oh! Oh! <coughs> oh! Oh, this is so sad! Oh! This is... The beat... It, I'll tell you guys later. Oh, she's naming off the colors. Red, white, blue. Hey! Oh, I love that kind of flow that she's doing with that. Three. Oh, we're switching up the lyrics. Surmise. What surmise? Every model's bet. She's spilling the tea. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys! I am so happy that I claimed this as my claim track. Cause not gonna lie, I feel like out of the five songs we've listened to so far, or the five, you know, from the Vault tracks, this has got to be my favorite. And I don't know why. It's just again like the production. Um, it's super like very 1989 reminiscent, but it's also like. Um, it's just so powerful and I absolutely love that it's a good amount of length Which again, I don't complain about length of songs at all But for the past few songs it definitely felt like I don't know I felt like it just ended too abruptly for me And I actually I just want more you know because I just love the song so much But for this I feel like it's a good you know kind of pace and her flow in this song She's so good. She's like no 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 like it was so good and then like the lyrics I absolutely love it and I am so glad that I claimed it as my claim track. But again, I love all the songs. Even though I feel like I've definitely not been vibing as much with the past few songs, I do like them and I feel like they are a good fit for the 1989 vibe overall. I do love Slut. That is gonna be like such an epic, if it has a music video, it's gonna be so epic. I am so excited to hear it. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be a promo to radio or not because of the word and the title. But we'll see how that goes, but overall, those are the From The Vault 
tracks and I feel like it was definitely worth the wait. I wish there were a lot more uh, from the vault tracks, you know, like a red amount of from the vault tracks. You know how many tracks there were. There were so many from the vault tracks from that era and I wish we could have gotten some for this. So I don't know, maybe the double uh, album theory is true. Hopefully, I, I, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but I do wish that she did put a lot more songs on this album, but it's okay. It's all good, we got five, I won't be spoiled. I am so glad that we got these songs. In terms of ranking as to you know which From the Vault tracks are my favorite, you know, between you know Fearless, Speak Now, Red, and 1989, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I do vibe with it, but again, I have to like listen to it again and like think about it and vibe with it a lot more. And it has to settle with me for a few more days before I can actually like make that you know, assumption or that um, call for you guys. So check back with me in a few days and ask me what I think of these From the Vault tracks later on. Um, but that's pretty much it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. So what do you guys think of the From the Vault tracks? Do you guys like them? Do you guys not like them? What do you guys think? What is your favorite song? Just let me know in the comments down below. And that is pretty much it for me guys. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, all the usual things. Follow me on my social media apps just to keep up with everything that I do. Stay tuned for my reaction to the original tracklist re-recordings, which I'm gonna be doing right after this. So again, stay subscribed and stay tuned for that. And until the next video, the wonder won't stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Boo.